guys, my name's Tracy and I'm a mortician. And I'm Trish and I'm not. And welcome back to another episode of Are You Dying to Know? Because Trish is dying to know. I am. Hello. Hi guys, how Hello. are you? How's everybody going? Who, um, how, yeah, where I went. It's um, <laughs> interesting. You okay? Yeah. Hmm. I think, um, I think on the last video, because this is the second part of the crematorium, I think on the last one I was a bit enthusiastic and a bit over, you know, so I do apologise if uh, I spoke over Tim at any time and Tim... Oh, no, oh, you weren't enthusiastic at all. <laughs> and I, I was just excited because there was stuff I didn't know myself. <laughs> so please, I apologise. So you did a beautiful job. hopefully next episode, which is the one following now, is me being quiet. Is that possible? I think so. Yay! I hope you enjoy it. Enjoy! Bye! Bye. Yeah. Yeah. So, at the end of the cremation, what actually happens? What do you do? What's yes. the process once the burning's finished? Yes. What do, you, what do you do next? Okay, so all that we have left at the end of the cremation is the bones of the person mm -hmm. we'll use we'll lift the door up and there's a lock that keeps the door open so it doesn't close down on us if anything goes wrong Ooh, uh, we'll, we'll use a long rake so we'll actually put the rake into the yep. tomato and we'll rake those remains all the way to the front of the machine and they fall down into a funnel and they're collected into a, a container what we call a hopper mm -hmm. or a bucket yep. at the bottom um, and that's where their remains are cooling um, yep. and so we're just using a rake which is a stainless steel broom if yeah. you like. Yeah. How hot are they when they come out? Uh, somewhere between a thousand degrees and four hundred degrees. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And okay. the consistency of the bone is a little is quite soft. Like um, it's difficult to explain it to international people, but yeah. like a crunchy violet crumble. Right, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like honeycomb. Yeah. Honeycomb's a good yeah. way of saying that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Right. And wow. so um, what sort of bones are left? Just the big ones? No, the full skeleton. Oh, really? Really? Okay, interesting. I never knew that. No, I, I didn't know. I thought it was femurs and skulls. No. Okay. If, if we're not to disturb the person during the cremation cycle, if yeah. we were to open that door, you would see the skeleton just laid out. Right. Oh, wow. Room. Yeah. That's and awesome. I, it, it's worth noting, too, and it's interesting to share that when we're looking at those bones, you can actually see bone disease. You'll see different colours, wow. oranges and right. greens on the bones themselves. Yeah. Wow. So, and you can actually see where the, um, the hip joint has, like the bone has been cut off okay. and the hip joint wow. been put that's, in. Yeah. Um, you can see wire, you know, that's holding yeah. bones yeah. to hip joints. And, yeah. Yeah. That's fascinating. Yeah. I just, yeah, that's brilliant. That's you, can also, awesome. you can also see how well a person has looked after themselves as well in their diet by looking at the, the bone, the colour of the bone. Like it, some will be bright white and really hard. Yeah. Others will be like a lighter tan, almost a, a brown colour and very brittle. Right. You know, there's bone disease and yeah. I can't think of the so medical term, but yeah, yeah. so it'll be calcium deficiency like osteoporosis and, and different like things that, like yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Well, so there's, no, there's no hiding. There's no, no hiding hide. anything at that point. Eat no. more plants, people. Yeah. yeah. Brush, brush your teeth and drink milk. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Stay healthy, people. Yeah. Like we always say, stay healthy. Said that yeah. if we don't disturb the body in the middle, we would have seen a, a skeleton. So obviously, yes. you do disturb the body to mix things up and keep the fire burning. Yes. Uh, how do you do that? With a long rake. So you open yeah. the door in the middle of it at certain time. Yes. Periods throughout. Yeah. Usually, we won't open the door within the first half an hour because that's when the combustion is so intense. Wow. Um, we'll never open the door of the cremator when the temperature is rising. So okay, whenever okay. that temperature is going up, we won't open the door because that's when it's not under pressure, but you know, it's combusting. Mm. Um, and we would define that as reposition. Right. So it wow. might be that um, we've rolled the coffin in on the cardboard roller and it's gone in deep, too, too deep in, uh, because the burner on the cremator is actually supposed to be over the chest of the person. Mm -hmm. um, so it might right. be that the, the coffin's gone too far in and after half an hour or 45 minutes, depending on the the size of the person will actually lift that door only minimal just to be able to have a look and then use one of those rakes to actually reposition that person further towards the burner so okay. and the burner in the cremator is made up of two parts it's a, a two-part flame it's a short flame and a long flame mm 
and right. you'll remember from science class the Bunsen burner. The Bunsen burner, oh, the, the Bunsen little blue burner. sharp yeah. flame was the hottest point. That was right the hottest tip. point, yeah. So when we're putting the coffin into the cremator, the flame is short so that it's just burning on the lid of the coffin, and then within maybe 15 or 20 minutes, the flame extends in length, so it's actually burning down and onto the person. Wow. So the and so when you open that door this much, 45 minutes in, what exactly do you see? A deceased person half burnt. Right. Wow. That must be confronting when you've first ever seen that, yeah, years ago when... I've been doing this since I was like a teenager. Yes, yeah, so that's It wasn't what... confronting to me, but I'm assuming that anybody that hadn't seen that before would yeah. be really yeah. disturbed by that. Yeah. 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 But to know that you're looking after, uh, you know, and, and correctly and doing everything, all that is quite reassuring as well. And yeah. it's fascinating because I'm like, I've been in the industry for over eight years, and I'm, you know, I've only ever seen the cre the cremator going twice. Yes. In, in the time I've been there, and I don't know much about it, so this is quite fascinating for you know, yeah. me in the industry. So it's really good. I didn't even know half well, of this. It's it, fun. That's yeah. fascinating. It yeah. might also be interesting to know too that it's not actually the gas as such or the flame that is creating the heat within the cremator itself, it's more oxygen and the, the science behind that okay. is oxygen it mm -hmm. becomes the fuel. So right. what we're actually doing is we start the fire with the flame which gets the coffin on fire and yep. the, and got the, little fans going or something it's, sucking. It's yeah. not a little fan. It's right. a big fan. Right. Oh, yeah. it's a big one. Yeah. Oh. And it, it's blowing oxygen in there all the time. Like, you know when you're at, you have a campfire yeah. and the campfire starts to die away yeah. and you want to get it going and you blow air on mm. it and that's the oxygen. The oxygen, it's yeah. Not, yeah. It's not the fire or the fuel, it's right. the actual oxygen yeah. makes the flame. So that you make it burning. Yeah. Is there condensation left behind? Nothing. Or nothing? No. Okay, there's, there's no water burnt off. What is there like... I'm thinking of obese people or big people yes. that have got a lot of fat content in their bodies. Is there yes. anything that doesn't burn off or that, I don't know, drips away or...? Yeah. No, no, well the okay. fat just burns right. like it would if you were on, on the stove, yeah. you know, at, at home. Yeah. Um, but the water, the H2O, yeah. H, two parts oxygen, yeah. is oxygen as well. Okay, and so we're oh, adds to the fat. To the right. So you might set the cremator at a certain temperature and then as that all gets going and combusts, that's why the temperature rises inside because the coffin starts burning and then the oxygen starts yeah. making it. Okay, I get it. Yeah. So is there a certain temperature it goes to or is there yeah. a set temperature you have it? And yeah. what's the, yeah. well, how hot does it get there?